nowhere is more peaceful, more free from interruptions than your own soul. Withdraw into yourself to consult your own soul, and then return to face what awaits you. This meditation was made by Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor from 161 to 180 AD and is considered the last of the five good emperors. During his time, he wrote a series of autobiographical writings known as Meditations, in which he constantly advocated for the pursuit of tranquility in life. His meditations often emphasized the importance of waking up early and making the most of the day. He also highlighted the importance of setting aside time to withdraw inward and find stillness. Thanks to his records, we have a reasonable idea of what his nightly routine would have been like. In this video, we are going to explore seven things that we need to do every night and how we can follow or adapt this routine for our modern lives. Before we begin, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, Moat Investing Stoicism, and follow our videos that will help you throughout life. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Eliminate External Stimuli Marcus Aurelius says, It is in your power to withdraw into yourself whenever you want. It is known that Marcus Aurelius used his nights to disconnect. While he is particularly known for his philosophy that advises us to live each day as if it were our last, he also believed in setting aside time to be alone in order to renew himself. He did this as an effort to free himself from stress or negative feelings, disconnecting from external stimuli and finding value in introspection or, better, his inner peace. External stimuli are the changes outside of the body or knowledge that is transmitted to us through the senses. Nowadays, we face constant external stimuli, especially when interacting with people and technology in order to meet the superfluous demands of our modern society. We overload ourselves with commitments, meetings and deadlines, losing our freedom and our peace of mind. Even if we try hard to create a balance between work and personal life, it is inevitable that we return home feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, and stressed. Our nightly routine usually involves catching up on social media, studying, attending college, watching TV, trying to respond to those last-minute emails, or working more to supplement income. We need to reduce these stimuli and declutter our minds. Therefore, your nightly routine should be the time you dedicate to yourself. This means eliminating many of the evening activities that you have become accustomed to and replacing them with new ones that will actually help you to disconnect and focus on yourself. Put aside superfluous things like excessive social media or television, and dedicate yourself to creating an environment conducive to rest. Think of your nightly routine as a self-care ritual. Instead of spending the last hour before bed scrolling through your phone, try reading a book you enjoy. Choose a light and inspirational read that helps calm the mind. Another option is to write a journal, reflecting on the day and expressing gratitude for the little things that happened. This can help clear the mind and provide a sense of peace. Practice a 5-minute guided meditation. It can be a body scan or a deep breathing exercise. These moments of introspection help to decrease mental activity and prepare the body for restful sleep. If you prefer something more active, try gentle stretches or yoga. Slow and controlled movements help release tension accumulated throughout the day and promote deep relaxation. Also consider the importance of the environment. Make sure your room is dark and quiet. The blue light from electronic devices can interfere with the production of melatonin, the sleep hormone. Therefore, turn off electronic devices at least half an hour before bed. Use soft lighting, such as salt lamps or candles, that creates a peaceful and welcoming atmosphere. Listening to calming music or nature sounds can also be an excellent way to relax. Choose a playlist of soft music or sounds like rain, ocean waves, or birds singing. These natural sounds can help calm the mind and prepare the body for sleep. Remember, the goal is to create a habit that promotes tranquility and well-being. 
Reducing stimuli and focusing on activities that nourish the mind and body is essential for a good night's sleep. By adopting these practices, you will be taking care of yourself and ensuring that each day begins with more energy and mental clarity. Number 2. Engage in physical exercise. Marcus Aurelius tells us, It is shameful for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. Even though Marcus Aurelius lived almost 2,000 years ago, he understood the importance of physical exercise. He believed that a healthy mind cannot exist without a healthy body. Stoics believe that even a simple exercise routine can teach us virtuous skills for life, like perseverance, self-development, discipline, overcoming challenges, and building self-confidence. They understood that it was more important to exercise to achieve these skills of high mastery than to obtain external approval. Despite what the media might make us believe, the Stoics already knew back then that trying to have a perfect body just to show off rarely leads to true happiness. Many times, we avoid our exercise session with excuses like, I'm too tired, I have a big meeting tomorrow and I don't want to be sore, I'm so stressed at work I can't even think about exercise. While many of us avoid exercise for various reasons, it has incredible benefits for both physical and mental health, and we shouldn't ignore it completely as part of our routine. Any form of exercise, whether it's playing sports or going to the gym, is beneficial because it releases a flood of feel-good brain chemicals known as endorphins, which reduce stress levels and improve mood. If you exercise at night, it can even help you fall asleep faster, leaving you feeling refreshed and ready to face the next day. You can also incorporate the concept of going for a brisk walk at night to clear your mind. And as you walk, observe the air and the environment that surrounds you. Let your mind relax as you walk, move, and appreciate the beauty of nature around you. This will help to clear your mind from a busy day and prepared for a good night's rest. Number 3. Review Your Day According to Marcus Aurelius, nothing has so much power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically anything that occurs to your imagination. Stoics believe that the two best times for reflection were in the morning and at night, to prepare for the day ahead, recording your thoughts in a journal in the morning, and to review the day that had passed. Marcus Aurelius wrote his meditations with the intention of reviewing his own daily life and thoughts to achieve personal clarity. He kept a constant eye on his daily actions and choices. Stoics emphasize the importance of being aware of your own actions and emphasize the importance of taking some time at the end of each day to review what happened, as a way to become more conscious in general. Stoics called this kind of attention an attention that aims to bring self-awareness to your actions and to check whether they are aligned with your higher self. Some Stoics compared this kind of daily reflection to presenting a case to a court. You recall and judge your day through self-examination of your daily actions and choices, and then review them systematically. This is not to be a practice of judgment, but rather a compassionate review of your journey that will guide you to make better decisions in the future. You can incorporate this kind of daily review into your nightly routine by taking some time before going to bed to recall the day that has just passed. Review each moment of the day, from the moment you woke up to the moment you are now. Meditate on the various choices and actions you made. What did you do well today? What emotions did you experience? What parts of your day brought discomfort? How can you learn from what happened today? What did you not manage to do today that you wish you had done? Daily reflections play a key role in Stoic philosophy. They help us prepare for the next day, noting what we wish we had done today. They are also essential to assess whether our daily actions are aligned with the person we really want to be. For example, during your day review, you might recall an event like an unpleasant interaction you had due to a misunderstanding. You will be able to identify how this interaction made you feel, highlight the time you spent thinking about the encounter and how it affected your mood. 
During the morning, you can reflect on how you would have liked to have dealt with the situation differently or how this interaction ended up being insignificant in the overall context of your day. By becoming aware of this event, the next time you face a similar situation, you will be able to approach it with more attention. Taking some time at night to review your daily progress is an important step towards living a life of history. Number 4. Contemplate your inner sage. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, mastery of reading and writing requires a master, even more so, life. A sage is someone considered to be experienced in a particular field and is revered for their wisdom, judgment, and expertise. For many people, this sage is a role model. Stoics would take time to reflect on their sages and whether their own actions were in line with the sages. Marcus Aurelius considered his sage to be Zeno, the founder of Stoic philosophy, and would often ask himself, what would Zeno do? The contemplation of the sage should essentially be a moment at night when you reflect on your day or on the person you are, and ask yourself what your role model would do. Your role model may be someone you know or just a concept of an ideal person. It is important to have a clear definition of this person so that you can reflect on whether your actions are aligned with your reference. As part of your nightly routine, take a few minutes to remember the person you admire and ask yourself, Did I act like the person I admire so much? In what ways can I improve tomorrow so that my life is more aligned with the person I admire so much? What characteristics of the person did you identify in yourself today? Incorporating a few minutes into your nightly routine to consider the situations you experience today and whether you reacted as you believe your role model would have done can increase your awareness of your choices for tomorrow and make you a better person, the kind of person you deeply admire. Number 5. Adopt a superior perspective. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, Think of the substance in its entirety of which you possess the smallest part and of time in its entirety of which a brief momentary period has been allotted to you, and of the works of fate, and how small your part in them is. Marcus Aurelius advises us to contemplate life from the viewpoint of the cosmos or to have an overhead view. Adopting this expanded perspective means looking at your life and at yourself as if you were observing from a third-person perspective, removing personal emotions and anxieties. To better illustrate this concept, imagine yourself as a character in a book. You are not only the protagonist, but also the reader, able to observe the plot from the outside, with objectivity. By doing so, you can see the challenges and achievements in a clearer and more balanced way, without being carried away by the emotions of the moment. For example, when you face a problem at work, try to visualize it from above. Think about how this problem fits into the bigger picture of your life. Is it something that will matter a year from now? Five years? Often, we realize that everyday concerns are small compared to the vastness of our existence and time. This perspective helps to reduce stress and anxiety, allowing you to deal with situations more calmly and rationally. Another practical example is when you face personal conflicts. Instead of reacting impulsively, imagine yourself as an impartial observer. See the situation from both sides, as if you were a mediator. This approach can help find fairer and more balanced solutions, avoiding unnecessary hurt feelings. Adopting an overhead view also means appreciating the little things in life. When you look at your daily routine from this perspective, the small joys and achievements gain new meaning. That quiet morning coffee, a smile from a stranger, or a beautiful sunset, all these moments become precious when viewed from a broader perspective. Furthermore, Understanding that you are a small part of something much larger can bring a sense of humility and acceptance. Recognizing that the world keeps turning regardless of our personal problems can relieve the pressure we put on ourselves. This realization reminds us that we don't need to control everything, and that it's okay to trust the natural flow of things. By adopting this cosmic view, you can also find inspiration to live in a more meaningful way. 
Think about how you can contribute positively to the world around you, even in small actions. Helping a neighbor, being kind to a co-worker or taking care of the environment are ways to participate in the great tapestry of life. Each small positive action contributes to collective well-being, and this, in turn, can bring a greater sense to your own existence. Practicing the overhead view regularly can be done through meditation and reflection. Take a few minutes out of your day to close your eyes and imagine yourself looking down at your life. Visualize your journey, your goals, and your challenges. This practice not only helps to calm the mind, but also reinforces the importance of maintaining perspective in difficult times. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed or anxious, remember the words of Marcus Aurelius and try to look at your life from above. See the beauty of the totality of existence and find peace in understanding that you are a small, but valuable, part of the great whole. It is known that, in his nights, Aurelius reflected on his life from the viewpoint of the cosmos to overcome his limited personal perspective. In today's world, there are many distractions. Whenever we leave our homes we are bombarded with advertisements, news, opinions, and distractions. When we are not at work or with our family, we are on our phones, listening to the radio, watching TV, or using the computer. All this causes mental exhaustion. It is difficult to find space to think and breathe. Apps, games, videos and TV programs, and the fact that our attention is often turned to other things, makes it difficult for us to deal with our problems, anxieties, stresses, and commitments. To help with this, the stoic exercise of adopting a superior perspective can be used to alleviate the burden of our problems because it shifts our perspective to a level above ourselves. You can start by devoting some quiet time at night to observing your immediate surroundings, your body, your home, and the people you live with. Start to think about what they feel, how you relate to them, what problems, hopes, and fears might they have. Then expand your view to see your own city and how all the people who live around you have a unique life that you know nothing about. They have hopes, dreams, and fears. Continue expanding your perspective to see your country. Then even more encompassing the entire perspective of the entire planet, considering all the people on Earth, all our lives scattered across countries, social classes, races and cultures. Think about the challenges that some of the least privileged people are going through. Continue expanding to the solar system, the universe and to the totality of existence. When we observe ourselves from above, we see ourselves not as disconnected individuals from the things around us, but as part of a larger whole, a participant in all that surrounds us. Looking at ourselves from the outside helps us see ourselves and our concerns more objectively. When we distance ourselves from the concerns, anxieties and problems that we face, we can see them more clearly, with less emotion, and have a better chance of understanding their causes and solutions. It becomes easier to see things in context. If you are feeling down because someone insulted you, try this exercise. It is much easier to overcome the emotional obstacles we experience when we put things in perspective. The fights and petty disagreements, in comparison, many of our problems may dissolve when we compare them to the problems of others or the vastness of space. Number 6. Spend time with family. Marcus Aurelius tells us, those who live longest and those who will die soon lose the same thing, the present. It is all they can abandon. For it is all you have, and what you don't have you can't lose. For Marcus Aurelius, at the end of the day, it was time to be with family. He clearly loved his children and his wife very much. Even though he was important, famous, and extremely busy, he did not ignore them. At night, he would put his children to bed and kiss them, silently saying to himself, Do not rush this. This might be the last time you do this. It is not guaranteed that you too will get through the night. He would use, he would value this thing in front of him, which was really the most important thing in his life, and then wish them good night. 
He did this repeatedly throughout his lifetime. Stoics used the contemplation of death as a practice to remind themselves of the impermanence in life. A nurse popularly known in Australia who was dedicated to caring for terminally ill patients said that one of the most common regrets of a dying person is the wish they had spent more time with their family. Her patients often lamented having missed their children's youth and the companionship of their partners due to the demands of modern life. Families are spending a little over half an hour of quality time together during the week, and even when families get together, many parents say the time is spent in silence in front of the TV, playing computer games or simply too tired to talk. Like the Stoics, if we regularly contemplate our death and remember that there will come a day when we or our children will not wake up to enjoy the beauty of life, we will begin to make some changes to spend more time with family and often tell our children or our family that we love them. Family time is an essential factor that helps to create strong bonds, love, connections and relationships between family members. Spending quality time with family helps to deal with challenges, instill a sense of security, instill family values and give children confidence. Number 7. Prepare for mornings. Marcus Aurelius says in his actions, do not procrastinate. Marcus Aurelius strongly advocated for the importance of waking up early every morning. He did this to create a morning routine that made the most of every moment alive. Therefore, sleeping meant having a restorative experience and not a time to indulge in laziness. A morning routine was essential for Aurelius, but part of that morning routine began even before morning, as he prepared for the next day the previous night. Stoics used to prepare for the day by setting aside time in the morning to rehearse their days. They did this by considering what they wanted to accomplish that day, prepare for different possible outcomes, and reflect on themselves. These kinds of reflections were done by many Stoics in the morning and also at night. To get started, you can prepare the night before to make waking up easier. This may mean choosing clothes for the next day, preparing your bag for work, or having a clear morning routine that you will follow as if it were a checklist of actions to be taken, but without having to use your brain to think about what to decide, as it was already decided the night before. Remember this, the more decisions you make throughout the day, the less effective they will be. Save your head to make small decisions, like what clothes to wear in the morning. This also means going to bed at a reasonable hour so that you get 6 to 8 hours of sleep. Not only is this beneficial for your health, but it will make waking up a more pleasant experience. Preparing for the next day during your nightly routine will not only help you with your morning routine, but it can also reduce anxiety about the tasks that await you when you wake up. If you like this video, don't forget to follow our channel where we give you the best of Stoicism and for more videos that will help you find success and happiness using ancient philosophical wisdom. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Motinvesting Stoicism. Thank you.